are very happy that uh, so many people have joined our webinar. So uh, let's start. Today, we are presenting Boost Fleet Productivity with the Eco Driving and Fuel Management together with GPS Gate, our longtime business partner based in Sweden. We will discuss in more detail the challenges of fleet productivity, remarkable use cases, new LTE tracker devices, and a fleet tracking platform that will help your business overcome challenges and save company resources. Now it's time to introduce the webinar speakers. My name is uh, Gabriela. I'm an international sales manager at Quicklin Wireless Solutions, and I'm based in Denmark. I'm very pleased to introduce you to Henrik, product and security manager at GPS Gate, based in Sweden. And we also have Bilal from Navio, based in Mauritius. As well, Patrick and Wayne, two engineers from the technical sales, from the sales and technical department that will help us to answer questions in the Q&A section. So we invite you to actively participate and take the time to ask all your relevant questions in the Q&A section. In today's session, we will start with knowing more about Quicklin and GPS gate. Secondly, you will learn more about fuel management and eco-driving use cases. Then we will have our customer success story. And finally, our live Q&A section. The webinar will take around 40 minutes. So enjoy the content and let's dive in. I can see a lot of our old friends, but still let me briefly introduce, introduce Quicklin. From a small company with less than 20 pioneers at the very beginning, Quicklin now is a global manufacturer of IoT, IoT hardware and with more than 500 people worldwide. We are a public trading company. Our extensive product line covers fleet management, asset monitoring, vehicle recovery, UBI, safety, and livestock. We have our headquarters in Shanghai and branch offices in Croatia, Lithuania, Serbia, Denmark, Hong Kong, Canada, US, Mexico, and Brazil. With our local support team, we provide highly responsive 24 seven technical and sales support. And we are serving over 3,800 customers in 140 countries. EMEA market is one of the most important markets for Quicklin. In total, we have delivered 14 million devices worldwide and about one third of them are delivered to EMEA market. We dedicated one of our R&D centers for this market to develop the devices that support more solutions for our customers. And one of the main products is our CAD1 products line that I will introduce to you. Now that we are facing the migration from the 2G connectivity that we still mainly use in Europe to LTE, our dedicated R&D center have been working a lot in the last few months, listening to the feedback of all our partners. And we have decided to launch several devices at once. Because as you may know, we usually don't try to attack all solutions with one product. We design specific products for each application or different segments within the IoT and telematics industry. So as you can see, we designed four specific products. Starting with the GV50ACU, which is the new generation of our GV56. We call it a basic device, but the truth is that it supports many functionalities and it has multiple interfaces. Then we have the GV305CU for advanced applications which is the new generation of our best seller GV300 with more inputs and outputs. Next, we have the GV350CU that is the new generation of our GV300 CAN for more advanced application with the CAN bus reading. And finally, our new flagship product that is the GV355CU, which supports highly advanced solutions like the remote tachograph download. We are trying to standardize our portfolio 
So all our new CAT1 products will support BLE and OneWire. And we're also working on using a standardized protocol for all our basic features on our new products to make the integration process easier. But we will talk more about these new devices. Now, let's Henry let us know more about GPS gate. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so um, Henrik here from GPS Gate. And if you have any issues with sound or anything, note that in the chat. So uh, our mission at the GPS Gate is to make uh, vehicle fleets around the world greener, safer, and more productive. Our, our real-time GPS tracking and fleet management platform is used by our tracking partners in over 150 countries. With features for echo driving and fuel management, we help fleets get greener. Um, our real-time tracking solution helps prevent thefts, hijackings, and encourages better driving, keeping cargo drivers and communities uh, safer. As to making fleets more productive, uh, we are homing in on productivity today. Uh, we'll share some use cases for fuel monitoring and driver behavior tracking that uh, um, helps you keep uh, your fleets productive. So um, GPS Gate was founded in 2007 in Stockholm in Sweden by Johan Fransson, who's still the CEO in our company. And true to our roots, we remain product focused. So we also pay great attention to product design to provide the best user experience in fleet management platforms. We're partner focused. Our partners are usually system integrators like Navio, who joins us here today. And as our uh, tracking partner, they use GPS Gates platform to provide best in class vehicle telematics to fleets. In addition to being partner friendly, our partners appreciate that GPS Gate is scalable, flexible, and extensible. Our one GPS Gate account, it can handle multiple customers and thousands of vehicles. Uh, our platform is very flexible to provide exact features, reports, alerts, and more uh, that each customer uh, you serve uh, has requirements for. It's also extensible. You can easily build on the platform. Our APIs let you integrate with any other software or business system to get customer data to the right places. You can also use scripting to extend the functionality in the platform. And finally, data security um, becomes more and more important with integrity laws, political uncertainty, and the sensitive nature of, of tracking data. So GPS gate is ISO 27001 certified. So your customer's data remains secure. Um, now that you know a bit about us, uh, let's dive into how GPS gate and Quicklink make fleets more productive. So, um, when it comes to uh, the key challenges uh, for productivity for our customers, they include reducing operation costs, such as fuel, maintenance, insurance, tax, uh, management fees, and other costs necessary for fleet owners. Fleet owners need to know how to acquire rich data in order to make data-driven strategic decisions to increase efficiency. And for mixed fleets, it's necessary to adopt tracking devices that are compatible with various vehicle brands and models. Uh, device replacement is an ongoing um, issue for fleet owners. So you need good technical knowledge uh, for, uh, and consideration of the future in, in the networks uh, that you, you work with. And fleet owners should also stay compliant with local policies to avoid heavy workloads, regulatory fines, and other safety problems. So the main, there are many benefits to echo driving. By using their fleet in more efficient ways, fleet managers can first and foremost reduce their fuel consumption and carbon emissions, can lower their fleet repair needs. Vehicles driven gently have less wear and tear, so you can help extend the useful life of the vehicle. Fleet managers may also find that they reduce additional time and resource costs. Safer driving typically means fewer tickets, fines, and accidents. All of these are costly in time and resources. 
And finally, a fleet with responsible driving behavior helps make roadways and communities safer. This also plays into our next section of echo driving. So let's move on to talking about how GPS gate and Quacklink help fleet managers tackle echo driving. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Henrik. Uh, here you can see our GV58 CEU that we recommend for eco driving solutions. GV58 CEU is our cost effective mini vehicle tracker working on the CAT1 network. And the main highlights of this product are that it's a very compact uh, device, the price is very competitive, easy installation. We can also pair this device with one of our battery power asset trackers uh, to be used in our SVR combo. It's ideal for different fleet management applications, optimizes the available inputs and outputs, allowing the fuel cutoff, ignition detections, and a single analog sensor in addition to driver identification. But connected with our buzzer, GV58 CU can be used in eco-driving scenario. So you can identify whether your driving style is healthy. As you know, with the growth of uh, transportation in passenger carry, food delivery, and car sharing, driving style is an important factor influencing fuel consumption and vehicle life. As fleet owners, you will gain benefits in cost optimization. Obviously, parameters like speed, acceleration, braking, cornering, et cetera, can be collected and analyzed to monitor driving behavior and accident reconstruction. You can also use our GV50 ACU like a more advanced device. You can expand the functionalities over one wire or BLE. Supported accessories include a range of uh, BLE-based temperature and humidity, beacons, angle and door sensors, fuel level, as well as CAN bus and J170A adapter. Here in EcoDriving, I button kit an RFID card reader connected by one wire and the key fob connected by BLE will help you to identify your driver's ID. Connected with the BLE CAN bus and the J170A adapter, parameters related with the brake, acceleration, engine, and speed can be read and collected. So as you can see, we call it a basic device, but it's still perfect for eco-driving solutions. Now let's can kind of show us the solution in GPS gate platform. Thank, thank you, Gabriela. So uh, our built-in echo scoring helps um, ident the drivers identify drivers who may need extra training. You can also spot fleet-wide opportunities for driving improvements. Improving echo driving lowers fuel consumption and means less wear and tear on vehicles. Echo driving includes lots of different driving behaviors and variables. Using a quick link device with the right signals, you can monitor echo driving in GPS gate. The echo score includes variables like sharp turning, harsh acceleration and harsh braking, speeding, and even letting vehicles idle. GPS gate has uh, built in reports for echo driving. You can also create real time notifications for behaviors that should be addressed immediately, such as excessive speeding. With GPS gate fleet managers can monitor driver behavior and also look at improvements in echo driving over time. Paired with fuel management, this means even more efficient fleet usage. And another important, uh, or for, Im for improved productivity, is uh, fuel management. Yeah, so when fuel costs continue to rise, and those are typically one of the largest costs in transportation and logistics. With the GPS gate and the Quacklink, you can help fleets effectively monitor their fuel use and manage their fuel costs. Saving money on fuel can make a large positive impact for fleets. 
With proper fuel monitoring, fleet managers can help prevent fuel theft and ensure that drivers are efficient in fuel use. Fuel management can also help reduce the fleet's environmental impact, which is important as climate concerns grow. So let's dive into uh, how Quecklink and GPS Gate solves the fuel problem. So Gabrielle, over to you. Thanks, Henrik. Here you can see the GV305CU. As I mentioned, this device is the evolution of our best seller, the GV300. GV300 series has been one of our most successful products for fleet management. With the GV305CU, you will have up to 14 inputs and outputs, advanced interfaces like the RS232 and the RS485 serial ports, plus of course, as I mentioned, the BLE and one wire. It has a 22 pin harness where we have five digital inputs, three analog inputs and six digital outputs. In terms of fuel manager management, as you can see in our slide, with the multiple interfaces you can use. Uh, with the RS232, our ultrasonic fuel sensor, but it's also compatible with many ready-made third-party fuel level sensors. It's also capable of integrating a BLE fuel level sensor and capable of connecting analog interface fuel level sensor. Here we have the GV350CU. This device uses the same housing with our GV305CU, but it's a more powerful CAD1 telematics device with built-in advanced CAN bus interpreter. It's capable of supporting full type of CAN bus equipped vehicles, including the J1939 and the J1708 truck, light vehicles, passenger car, specialized transport, and machineries. GV350CEU does not only support different kinds of fuel level sensors, but can also read different types of data from dual CAN bus to easily monitor and manage fuel consumption, such as real-time fuel level monitoring, gear alerts on refuel and drain, tracking cost per mile, track and stop the fuel theft, identify inefficient assets, and more. But let's dive in, in how GPS gate can help with field management. Thank you, Gabriela. So GPS gate platform uh, makes fuel management easy. To get the full picture of fuel use, we recommend using multiple of the GPS gate features. We have standard fuel consumption reports that help fleet managers stay on top of fuel use and cost. You can easily track vehicle mileage against vehicles fuel levels and fuel refills. This makes it easy to identify anomalies or inefficient use. You can automate notifications for any suspected fuel theft based on mileage and fuel levels. Fuel, manager, uh, fuel management is more than just monitoring and reporting. It's important to proactively address fuel efficiency. With GPS gate, you can schedule and track preventive vehicle maintenance to keep vehicle fuel efficient and road ready. You can monitor driving habits and train drivers on eco-friendly and fuel efficient behavior. Let's uh, see how customers of GPS gate and Quackling use uh, their software and hardware to provide real fuel management solutions to fleets. So, uh, welcome Bilal Nanhuk from uh, Navio. Navio provides uh, innovative fleet telematics and IoT solutions using GPS Gates platform and Quecklink's hardware. Let's see how they are helping fleets increase their productivity. Over to you, Bilal. Thanks, Thank you, Henrik. Uh, hello everyone. So I am uh, Bilal Nanhuk from uh, Napio. We are a tech company based in Mauritius and uh, we are in operation since 2008. And since that time, we've developed and deployed a telematics and IoT platform that can be customized to meet specific customer needs. Um, this is our uh, biggest strength, uh, with emphasis being to 
provide the necessary metrics to optimize cost, improve performance, and ensure safety and compliance. And we use GPS gate as the telematics engine and as part of the platform and is deployed on the same uh, infrastructure. So uh, the platform is powered at its core with the essential components of an uh, IoT framework. And it is from there that we have the customized fleet telematics, but we also have other solutions like uh, building management system, field service management, workshop management, and uh, robotic process automation. Let's see uh, now uh, specifically uh, the collaboration between uh, Quicklink, GPS gate, and, and Navio. So um, this collaboration is made possible because of the openness, I would say, um, between the GPS gate platform, uh, especially concerning the APIs and the scripting uh, possibilities for advanced solutions. This is mainly what we've used to build uh, the customized solution and also the hardware from QuickLeak that enables us to deliver really what the customer um, they are looking for. So it's more specifically on the uh, fuel management solution, as uh, Gabriela just mentioned, for the GV305, uh, we've mainly worked with the GV300 CAN device. And uh, there are four possibilities, as you uh, may be aware, the, the canvas, the fluid sensor, the fuel probe, and uh, ultrasonic sensor. Um, privileged route uh, would be the canvas to get the exact fuel, but then many vehicles would not provide this data uh, readily, so we have to shift to other uh, solutions like the fluid sensor connected to the analog uh, wire or uh, the fuel probe, but the fuel probe is inclusive, so some customers don't want um, to drill into the tanks because of warranty issues. And, and we also have the ultrasonic uh, sensor as a last resort, uh, because sometimes you get some very old vehicles where you don't have neither of those, uh, those first two canvas or offload sensor possible. So once we get the data, then of course we'll deliver the reports. We'll see some specific reports on, on, on three case studies just after. So the first case study is in the agricultural industry. It is for a major sugarcane grower in uh, Mauritius. They ask us to digitalize their daily operational activities like uh, planning and scheduling, trip customization, assets efficiency, and uh, more precisely what they were looking for was fuel consumption in liters per hour and liters per hectare. And once this data is collected, uh, we transform it and push it back to their existing ERP and uh, together with data with, from their web page. So their, their main uh, focus um, for fuel was on those free areas to have critical alerts in abnormal situations such as a fuel drop. Uh, they needed real-time fuel level in their vehicles because we are talking of uh, infield vehicles that usually are refueled by uh, filler trucks. So it's, it's crucial to know the fuel level at any one point in time. And the daily consumption in liters per hour and liters per hectare to know the efficiency of their operations. So we had a combination of two devices on, on this project, the GV300 CAN and the GV56, uh, because some of the fuel data, we could get it from the CAN ports, but uh, for other vehicles, we had to go through uh, the fluid sensor. And uh, one um, important aspect uh, I wanted to mention here concerning the, the fluid sensor, is the calibration process that needs uh, that, that we go through 
to get the exact reading converted in liters. For example, for this one customer, we went through a, a 25 liter interval calibration process um, to have the value as close as possible because of the irregular tank shapes, mainly for those uh, infield uh, tractors uh, and other agricultural equipment. So once we uh, deployed the solution, we customized the report for them, um, which you, you see on the screen. So you have the work hours, effective hours, um, time start, time end. And of course, at the bottom, you can see the fuel consumption in liters per hour and liters per hectare. This adding together will give a, a comprehensive efficiency report that they can use to understand on a job by job basis because um, this report you will see it's, it's very concise and it concerns one particular job this is where we get at the end of it with a, uh, a kpi specific on efficiency The, the second case study is in the construction industry. Here, the customer was mainly concerned on engine hours and uh, fuel consumption. So uh, the, the, it, it used to be manual uh, operation. So the fuel dispense in each tank, again, it is filler trucks moving into the uh, construction area and dispensing uh, the fuel. Uh, Real-time engine hours, which is crucial uh, in this industry against uh, kilometers run, uh, uh, which, is, which is much more important in terms of engine hours, and of course the real-time fuel level. So we had a daily report uh, for the engine hours for each vehicle, uh, which takes into consideration the exact time start and the exact time end uh, start on and stand and off. And then uh, we have the real time uh, fuel level uh, from the CAN uh, device. And for this one customer, we also had a fuel reconciliation report, which is a comparison between what the filler truck dispensed in the vehicle based on the fuel sensor and compared to the indent or the, the, the manual take uh, that the driver provided. And you would see that um, most of the time we are very close to um, the figures that were delivered in terms of liters. And the third case study um, was for a customer dispensing this time the fuel by the filler trucks again in uh, in field operations. So the dispensing is done in the field. Uh, it was initially a manual input, so there is a big risk of human error uh, and of course a big risk of theft also. So uh, this time we used a GV56 device with a, a fuel probe, a physical fuel probe installed inside the, the filler truck. It is a 2000 liters filler truck. And then we monitored um, the dispensing each and every time for each um, agricultural equipment. So on the next slide, you will see So here we see the two vehicles. This is very important to know whether uh, they actually physically met in the field for the dispensing, what time it was, and what was dispensed from the filler truck to the equipment. So we have the graphical uh, view of it, as well as a, the data sheet where we can see what was, the, what was dispensed, what was delivered in terms of liters against an initial refueling that was done inside the filler truck. So of course, this helped the customer a lot and to understand the use of, 
of fuel inside the field. So that's it from my part. So I will uh, pass on again to Henry to continue the presentation. Yeah, thank you, Bilal. Thank you for sharing your great use cases and your experience of working with uh, QuakeLink and GPS Gate. So we have seen um, how QuakeLink and GPS Gate can offer you solutions for advanced vehicle monitoring, in easier driver management, and more efficient fleet operations. Today, we have also talked about the environmental and business benefits of echo driving and fuel management to make vehicle fleets greener, safer, and more productive. So thank you all for listening to us today. Now, let's move on to uh, our live Q&A session. We have received lots of questions. We'll go through some of them now and answer all of them personally later. So let me introduce you, uh, you to our tech experts, Wayne from Quecklink and Patrick from GPS Gate to answer your questions. Maybe Patrick, you want to start? Of course I can do that. Hi everyone, my name is Patrick. I'm a CIS engineer at GPS Gate. We have received a lot of questions regarding fuel and fuel consumption echo driving. So let me begin. Uh, regarding fuel, we can act on any signal coming in from the device, either that we use the actual tank uh, fuel level or to uh, see what the fuel consumption is, or we can act on expected fuel consumption if we uh, are not getting, cannot gather the information. All of this can be used in uh, triggering events or re for reporting purposes. When it comes to fuel consumption, it goes a bit hand in hand with echo driving. And we do have support for echo driving uh, reports. And we act then on driving signals coming in from the device regarding the uh, echo driving parameters, such as harsh acceleration, braking, cornering, and such. And of course, you can do this uh, both in um, the reporting or displaying it in the interface. Fuel theft is also a common question. Uh, and of course, we can trigger that uh, events on that as well. Either if the uh, device itself can trigger an event on that and send a signal to the uh, the GPS kit platform, we can create an event there to alert uh, wanted recipients, or we can act on previously received data and compare with the new one to see large differences in uh, fuel tank volumes and act accordingly. Let me see. Uh, yes. I will get back to you on uh, other questions. And of course, if you aren't a GPS Kit customer today, uh, feel free to contact us for our, for our trial. We do have a uh, cloud. So feel free to contact us if you want to test the uh, new features like maintenance on the cloud and request a new free account. Wayne, over to you. Hey guys, uh, this is Wayne from uh, QuickLink, and I work as a field application engineer. And uh, I see there's a lot of question going on, um, a lot, a lot of questions going on in the chat, and uh, I go through them. Uh, I, I'll pick most of them and uh, try to answer. Uh, first, uh, I see there's a lot of question regarding Canvas solution. So uh, for GV three O five CU, we can connect uh, Can one hundred. Uh, to read the canvas information from the vehicle. Uh, but uh, we usually recommend customer to use uh, GB350 uh, CU so that uh, uh, it can directly read the canvas solution uh, information from the vehicle because we have an uh, inbuilt uh, canvas chipset. And uh, if you're asking about uh, which vehicle and uh, what kind of information you can get from different vehicles, uh, we have a support list 
And uh, if you're interested, just feel free to contact us and uh, we will share the support list with you. And you can check uh, what kind of info you can read from different vehicle and uh, different vehicle model. Um, also, uh, I see people are asking about uh, if our device could uh, store uh, records when when there's no maybe like no uh, internet or or the server is down. Uh, yes, of course we have a buffer mode which can store the uh, messages in the memory, and when the network or the server recovers, we can send it out later as a buffer message. Um, let me see what else. Uh, also, I see someone is asking if uh, QuickLink has uh, uh, its own uh, fuel sensor. Uh, actually, we do. Uh, we actually have an uh, ultrasonic uh, fuel sensor, which is uh, the UFS 300. Uh, it is usually used with uh, uh, regular shaped uh, tank, uh, usually on the truck. Um, so uh, if you're interested, also we can uh, send out the flyer and spike of the UFS 300 so that you can check. Um, there's another question regarding um, fuel theft. Um, actually, on some of our project, we have done some kind of uh, fuel theft alarm. Um, it's not applied to all of our device, but if you're interested, this is also uh, possible to add in, uh, for example, GV305 or 350 CEU. Um, I think uh, this uh, covers uh, most of the question here. So uh, if, if, let me see if there's any Q and A. Um, so uh, I think that, that covers uh, most of the questions. Um, and uh, if you guys have more questions, uh, uh, feel free to contact us. Um, uh, just uh, send your question there and we're, we're happy to answer. Yeah. I think, uh, Gabriel, uh, you want to take over? Thanks, Wayne. Well, we have more questions, uh, but also we are running out of time. So uh, if you have further questions or you would like to start working with us, uh, we will show our contact details. Uh, if you are already our business partner or a customer, you can contact your uh, sales manager for more information. Here you have our uh, emails uh, from a uh, 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 technical and sales from uh, Quacklin and GPS gate. Henrik, I don't know if you want to add something before we are uh, saying goodbye. I just want to thank everyone for joining. It was great to have this opportunity to share our joint solutions and also have Bilal uh, show them in, in from the real world. And also, if you have asked questions you haven't been answered, we will answer them uh, personally as well later. Yeah, so thank I, you so much. I don't have anything Bilal. else. I'm really happy. Yeah, Bilal, also, if you want to add something, Oh, sorry, Bilal, you're still muted. No, um, so I think it uh, it was interesting and fruitful for, for all of us. So maybe see you all uh, next time. Great. Thank you so much for attending our webinar. We hope you find all the information useful. And uh, any questions, as you know, you can contact us. Thank you. Thank you, bye.